I'm doing it. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I gotta use, go, we gotta go out of here. It's right there. This is the tornado probe I built with one goal in mind, film the inside of a tornado. Pulling this off is extremely difficult and risky. However, an ideal deployment is actually straightforward. Pull the probe out of the car, drop the sandbags, and get the heck out of Dodge. The probe is designed to stay upright and winds up to 186 miles per hour, which is a high-end EF4, so it's stable enough to survive most tornadoes. While there have been other tornado probes in the past, this is the first tornado probe to feature an ultra high resolution 8K 360 camera capturing its surroundings in extreme detail. There's also an element of mystery. What will the camera capture? Will it capture multiple vortices circling around the probe? Or maybe it will capture the calm eye at the center of a tornado, like the eye of a hurricane. I've put more into this project than any other video so let me take you through the last six months of trying to film the inside of a tornado. The very first try at an intercept happened only a few days after building the probe, May 16th. Me and my chase partner Kelton found ourselves right in front of a rotating supercell that was about to drop a tornado. 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 We caught the tornado genesis. Holy cow. It's coming right here. Let's do the probe. Let's do it. This is perfect. This is coming right here. Maybe a little north of us, but yeah. A little north? It might be coming right at us. I think it is. You wanna drop it right here? Let's give it two more seconds. Initially, it seems like the tornado is moving right towards us, but we quickly realize it's actually going to our north. If we want to successfully probe the tornado, we'll have to reposition further north. Let's go a little north on this road, deploy, and then come back. If it's too sketchy, then we go. You want to go right now? Yeah, we got to go right now, dude. Record this thing while I'm driving. We got to hurry. I know, I know. Right here, right here. This is the spot. I'll get out and film. You deploy it. I get the 360 camera ready for deployment, but I fumble with it for way too long since it's my first time turning on the camera, which as it turns out, is not a great use of time while a tornado is approaching. Is it moving right? Yes. All right, let's keep going. Let's go a little further. All right. I don't know if we can, uh, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It is gorgeous. As we close in on the tornado, it's rapidly shrinking in size and strength. It's clear we're too late for an intercept. Damn. Yeah, she's done. Let's go east. All right, well, that was not a successful deploy, but that's okay. But surely I'd get more opportunities throughout the year. Just two days later, I'd find myself in front of another tornado-producing storm in western Oklahoma. Incredible tornado, congrats guys. This was a golden opportunity to deploy the probe. However, I passed on the chance because I was with my less experienced friend and putting him dangerously close on his first storm chase seemed irresponsible. In hindsight, passing on this opportunity was a mistake because over the next couple weeks, I'd continue the grind, chasing every single severe weather setup. But for some reason, tornadoes were just not in the cards. However, on June 5th, the unlucky streak would come to an end. I was about to be face to face with a tornado. And this time, I would actually deploy the probe. All right, let's go, 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 go. Go, Jesse, go. Before I get into this wild intercept, I would like to briefly tell you about the sponsor of this video, ZocDoc. Earlier this year, I moved across the country from Denver to Oklahoma City, simply to be closer to all the tornadoes. And while this move has been incredible so far, 
One of the things I didn't even consider when moving was finding a new doctor, and that's where ZocDoc comes in. ZocDoc is a totally free website that lets you compare the best doctors in your area. The website makes the search for the right doctor easy because you can select the doctors by different criteria. Whether it's location or insurance provider, you'll be able to find the right doctor. I think the best part is that you can actually see the availability for each doctor. So just choose a time that works for you and instantly book your visit online without having to talk to anyone. So please stop putting off that appointment and go to ZocDoc.com slash high risk Chris linked in the description or scan the QR code on screen. On June 5th, I was positioned ahead of a rapidly rotating supercell in West Kansas. The storm appeared as if it was about to put down a tornado at any moment. And trying to learn from my previous mistakes, I made sure to stay much closer to the rotating part of the storm. And sure enough, a tornado begins to form less than a mile to my west. Uh, there might be a tornado. Oh yeah, that's a tornado. Yes. It's coming down right now. I'm going to deploy, I'm going to deploy. I then have to make the quick decision about which direction the tornado is moving. Is it coming right towards me or is it going to my south? South? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's moving south a little bit. Thankfully, my co-pilot Jesse had eyes on the tornado. Just a little further, a little further. Now. All right, I'm going to deploy, I'm deploying. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we gotta move really quickly. All right, let's go, 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 Jesse, go. After deploying the probe, we scrambled to get out of the tornado's way. Meanwhile, back at the probe. The probe takes a direct hit by the weak tornado, and if we watch back at half speed, we can see that the central core of the tornado goes directly over the probe. A swirling vortex can then be seen after crossing the road in the other field, along with other smaller vortices. After the tornado passes, we return to retrieve the probe. There it is. You see it? I see it. All right, it's still there. Woo! Are we still recording? Yes, we are, baby. Let's go. Oh, my God. <sighs> Maybe we can get another one, huh? Let's try this one. Let's do it. Oh, my God. It doesn't look very strong, but... No. It didn't even take down any power lines. While I technically succeeded in putting the probe inside a tornado, this is not the shot I had in mind when starting this project. I knew I could do better, so the grind continued. Over the next few weeks, I chased after every single storm system I could, witnessing one beautiful supercell after another. And while these storms were incredible to capture, None were producing a long-lived photogenic tornado, which is what I need for a successful intercept. It was starting to feel like the real challenge was just getting a tornado in the first place. But up in the Dakotas, a two-day stretch of severe weather was looking extremely juicy. Juicy enough to make the grueling 15-hour drive north from Oklahoma. And on the way north, the universe was sending me a clear message. I had a pretty good feeling about this trip. What's up? What's up, Jack? Damn, it's blowing up. On June 27th, storms began to explode around sunset. It looked like we were about to witness a stunning tornado. But the storm held off from producing until after dark. That's strong as hell. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. This was a cool tornado. However, deploying the probe at night is just not an option. Good thing the next day was looking even better. By late afternoon on June 28th, a line of supercells erupt in eastern South Dakota. The furthest south storm reaches a height of 50,000 feet, signaling that it's the dominant storm in the cluster. So we target the storm. When we break through the rain and hail, we're met with the classic supercell, with a pronounced wall cloud appearing as if it's about to drop a tornado at any moment. And sure enough, a funnel begins to descend towards the ground. Oh, there it is. Yeah, tornado coming down. We got this. This is our chance to do it. This is the ideal tornado to intercept. Exactly what I've been waiting for. I just now need to figure out how to get the probe inside of this thing. We can get a little closer to it, or we just let it come to us. I think we should let it come to us. It's pretty close. Oh my God, look at that thing. That's insane. Holy cow, that is really strong. We initially position east of the storm because that's the direction the supercell is moving. However, it becomes clear that the tornado is actually moving north. Moving to the right. Should I go north? Just a little bit, yeah. Definitely right, do it right now. I'm turning around. We reposition to the north, trying to find the exact spot the tornado will cross. That is a beast. We just sit, wait, let it come to us. Let it come to us, yeah, I agree. It's still moving north. Let's creep north. Getting a little rain wrapped. It's still back in there, it's just wrapped in rain. Uh, is there anything behind us? I can see a lowering back there. Um, damn, I don't know what to do. We wait, thinking the tornado will track northeast towards our road, but it starts to turn northwest into the rain. There's also a new circulation, making the situation even more difficult. That is nutty. Dude, you gotta see this. I know, I wanna, uh, I wanna go back around. Okay, go, do it. Here, 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 we got a west. Let's get close, let's get close. Eventually, I decide to just drive right at the tornado, but it's too late. The tornado is rapidly weakening. Damn, that was already pretty awesome, but well, we, gotta get, we gotta get it in. Admittedly, I played this tornado too passively for a probe intercept. However, the day was not over. A second supercell is starting to explode, so Kelton and I repositioned to get eyes on the new storm. All right, we're gonna be more aggressive than last time. All right, let's get close. Not wanting to make the same mistake I made with the first tornado, I aggressively drive right towards this new developing tornado. Here it goes. Oh, it's oh, right here. Whoa, you see that? It's on the road right now. It is on the road. The actual thing is off to the uh, to the right of where the funnel cloud is. You see that? There it is. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there on the road. Holy cow. All right. All right, pull over. I gotta get this thing up. Get the, get the 360 up. I don't want, there's no, no need to get any closer. Just go, go, go. Make it quick, man. I can hear it, Chris. It might hit this road. Should I deploy? No, not yet. 360 cam is going. Should I deploy? Since the first tornado turned north, I make the assumption that this second tornado will also turn north right towards our location. This was the perfect opportunity to deploy. It's coming right here, man. Chris, we can deploy it. We can deploy it. I'm doing it. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I gotta, go, we gotta get the out of here. Get the okay, out of here. Close. Get the out of here. 
It's right there. We're going. Oh my God, insane tornado. It's about to be. Should I stop? It went south of the road. Keep going? A little bit or turn, uh, I'm gonna you, I'm gonna you. You gotta see this thing, dude. Oh. You wanna go get the probe? Just I don't know if we should cross that thing's path. We might be able to go back for the probe, but. uh. No, 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 no. Not right now, no. but. It's close, it's really close. I know, I know. Bam. While we play chicken with the tornado, the probe captures draw-dropping footage from the side of the road. We can race past and get in the probe. We can go. We can get it if we. Go I know. Fast. I just want to shoot this. I want to shoot this right here. This is. Oh my God! It's right here. Get out of the road, dude. Back at the probe, the ultra wide 360 camera captures the rarely seen perspective of the parent storm wrapping around a tornado. We can get the probe. Oh my God, dude. All right, the probe is fine, the probe is fine. It's right here, it's right here. Oh my God! It's like Eli. Oh my God! Come on, grab it. Ugh. Let's go! Let's go! It's roaring! We got it! We gotta get it in now. I know, I know. Oh my God, look at that thing. Let's turn around. Let's turn around, let's turn around. This is insane, it might be starting to rope. At this moment, it looked like the tornado was about to rope out, but that could not be further from the truth. What is that? What the heck is that? This tornado would go on to be extremely long lived and by far the most incredible tornado I have ever captured. No. But I'll save that footage for my next video.